Hi everyone, I hope everybody's healthy and happy. So today we're going to start our app building uh, lessons. And uh, so we're gonna be use Thunkable. So when you open up today's lesson, the date might be different, but it's gonna just start off with just saying Thunkable, learning how to use Thunkable basically. Um, and again, the period could be different from what yours is, but the lesson should be the same. So I would click on Thunkable and hopefully that opens in a new tab for you like it did for me. Takes a little while, but once you, once you get into it, you're gonna click on Get Started. When you click on Get Started, um, you might have to log in with your SmyrnaEagles.org account. I've already logged in with this student uh, demo account, so it should get me right on in. Yeah, it did. So if it pops up, it might ask you what account to log into, and you're gonna choose your SmyrnaEagles.org account. Um, if you're using Chrome, you might already be logged into Chrome, and so that might already populate for you. Otherwise, you got to type in first name, that last name, that's runningeagles.org. All right, once you get to this page, you're going to start building. And you're going to give this project name, that we're just going to call it the talking app, okay? Um, you can't do anything different here. We're not going to try this out. This is a new user interface, which does look really good, but I'm not uh, willing to start that just yet. Um, so we're going to leave it with the old way for now. And you're going to click on create. And it's going to create your first app. And you're going to see the user interface. We'll open up in another tab. And this pops up. And I think I want you guys to go ahead and watch this. It's going to teach you a little bit about the user interface. Go ahead and do what they tell you to do in this app uh, to make this app. And uh, once you're done this one, then come back to this video and finish watching this video. All right, now that you've done watching that video and you've created your app, you should have something like this. You should have a button in here. Um, you should have scrolled down and brought in a text to speech under this uh, right here. That's a non-visible component, so it ends up at the bottom. Now I've zoomed way in, so my phone looks really big for you guys, hopefully to make it easier for you to see. You should have um, maybe played with the, um, the different properties. So for example, I click on screen over here and then you can change the background color. I believe she changed it to red, something like that. You could do the same thing with the button. You could change the buttons uh, text color, you could change the font size, the background color, you could do all kinds of stuff. So if you haven't done that and you want to play with that and make it look your own, you can do that. I'm going to keep going in the video so it's not too long. Uh, so you should have also went into blocks and you should have pulled out the button click block and you should have gone into text to speech and brought in the text to speak uh, speech uh, speak block and had hello. And so then you could have either done a live test which she showed you. Um, but the other way to do it is if you're in the design, you could go to preview as well. And so that brings it right up and you should be able to push on the button hello. and it says, hello. Hello. So what I want to ask you guys to do now is the modification to it. So if you remember, um, you were in the tutorial part, you watch this video right here. When you bring this up, there is a uh, step to step part to this. What I just did, bring in the button, go to the next step, bring in the text-to-speech, go to the next step. So these tutorials, go to the blocks, are uh, laid out as well in the video, as well as in the step-to-step. -step. Um, and then bring in the, the blocks, the blocks just like we did. Okay, now, um, she said, you know, here they added something to it. This is live testing, she did that in the video. Um, and then this is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna allow users to type in the text that the phone reads aloud. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and close the tutorial part of the user interface and go back to here. Now, what I wanna bring in is over here on the, I gotta get out of my, um, no, I gotta go back to edit, there we go. Out of my preview, I remember I clicked on preview to see how it works. All right, so I'm scrolling down and I'm looking for a text uh, input. So here it is, text input right under again, user interface, text input. And I'm gonna drag that right in here. Hopefully yeah, it goes right where I want it. Good. Now, sometimes it doesn't go where you want it. And so let's say you wanted to move it, you can move it down here and then it'll be under the button. But I think above the button is the right place for it. You could also do that here by moving and dragging things here, I thought. 
Okay, it's a little bit more difficult that way. But I don't know if I did this. Yeah, there we go. So you can figure out a way to drag those around. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and change the text to my button. So I clicked on my button here, or I could have clicked on it here to get the properties to show up over here on the right. And I'm going to change this to, um, to the text that says, you know, click here to speak. Right? Just so the user maybe figures out a little bit better than just button. Uh, and now what I wanted to do in the blocks is instead of just saying hello, I wanted to take whatever the user has typed in the text that the user has typed in to this text input. And I want them to, um, I want it to speak that. So I'm going to take this, not that one, where is it? This one, text input text information. So whatever text is in that text input block, that's this one, whatever text is in here, it's going to now speak that. Okay, so let's try that. Go back to box. Oops, let me go back to design, preview. Now the user can type in, hello, Mr. Hurd. And when I click on this, instead of saying hello, it's going to say the text that is in this text input. Hello, Mr. Hurd. There you go. Hello, Mr. Hurd. All right, one other thing you could do if you decide to do um, the, the app part where you can live test it, let me show you, over here, have it actually work in your phone. So if you have a phone that you can use, a smartphone that you can use, and you download the Thinkable, a Thinkable Live app, you could also add in a part where if the phone gets shaken, because the phone has a way of knowing which way it's facing and, and how it's uh, being handled. So we can add in what we call an accelerometer. So I'm going to go ahead and close this carrot over here on the user interface just to get rid of all those, get rid of the layout, um, get rid of the voice. Uh, don't need the image. So don't need the data. So these are just closing these down just so it's not as big. Location, no, it's not there. It's a sensor. There it is. So I want the accelerometer sensor. So under the sensor drawer, I'm going to pull out accelerometer and drop that in. Okay. So now you can see down here, I have two non-visible components. If I scroll down a little bit, they stay there in the bottom. And um, my phone just extra big because again, I've zoomed in. So what I want to do now is go into blocks. And if we shake the phone, so if I click on the accelerometer, I get this block. If the phone is shaking, then I want to duplicate this right here and put it in here. So you, I right clicked and duplicate. I could also have come here clicked on this and brought that out as well. That looks the same, right? Here's the trash can, I could throw that away. The mouse has to be over the trash can in order for it to get to open. Um, and then I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna throw this away. And I'm gonna just say, if the phone is shaking, it's going to say, um, you're bouncing too much something like that. Okay. And now this won't work on the computer. So I can't demonstrate this. But if you were to have this on your uh, live test uh, in your phone, and you shook your phone, it would speak what I just typed in there, you're bouncing too much. So try that fix, make that happen. Once you're all done, you're going to share the link to me. So you're going to click on this share, you're going to generate a link. This is going to allow me to see your blocks and your um, user interface, your design. You're going to copy this. You're going to go back to your uh, Google Classroom. You're going to add and create and add the link right there. If you need to, I might have went kind of quickly. You can back this up and play it again and add the link. Then I can go into Google Classroom, click on this link, and see your app and see how it's working. That's the lesson for today. Thank you.